Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back in. All right, so after the uh, little bit of the unfortunate crash yesterday, I did load the game back up and I lost about 10 minutes worth, so I didn't lose a whole lot. I went ahead and caught us back up. Um, if I can get this, come yeah, on game, there we go. Anyways, I got us back up and going to where we were at. I have our, that's uh, not the island. <laughs> this island I have our cow truck back going back uh, it's already been running for a little while now so it's already back up and happening up here um i i went ahead and upgraded a few more investors just to get a couple things unlocked and yeah that's pretty much it that's basically what we lost we lost about 10 minutes worth i was about two minutes shy of a save pretty much so uh what i'm actually going to do is come over here and I'm going to change this to five every five minutes, just in case. So, yeah, every five minutes, I'll have this thing auto save for me. Fix my mic real quick. Okay, maybe that's a little bit better. Anyways, um, so what I want to work on real quick for this episode is going to be... I need to... See, we have champagne and cigars being fulfilled because we had a little bit of it in stock. I don't think we had much. Uh, yeah, no, we're about to run out. So that doesn't even matter. Uh, so I need to get I need to get that fixed. So let's get another cargo ship set up. Ooh, there's, uh, I went and bought a bunch of propellers. I did find a controllable pitch propeller, the epic version, and I gave that to our Calchuk ship. I want to give one of these uh, one turn screw propellers to this guy. Just make him a teeny tiny bit faster and fix that cargo slowdown somewhat. So I do want to get cigars going. So let's jump down here and let's see where cigars are going to happen. What Over here is here, looking Governor? like a good a good place for them. Um, also do it down here. There's no oil down here though, and I definitely want. See, this one has plenty of An oil. Explosion in one of your factories. Okay, let's do it down here. Let's hop back up here. We're gonna go get some more supplies. Uh, something has blown up. Oh, this up here blew up again. It's fine. Good and ready. All right, grab a bit of this. What island was that called again? Kuratal, okay. Ready for a challenge. And you too, Kuratal. I do have a ship going down with steam motors and steel. And once this cargo ship comes out, I'll load it up with a bunch of steel as well. So let's come over here. Fleet awaiting orders. Grab a couple of our little Don't clippers. Getting any more. Oh, also, yes, I uh, I have trade rights with Anne Harlow now. The reason being, I was I happened to look over her port and she had a royal ship of the line, which I love available. So I went ahead and just grabbed I grabbed a peace treaty and trade rights with Anne. So I because I really really wanted that royal ship of the line, so I decided to go ahead and do that. Just say the word. Alright, grab some of this, grab some of this, I'll bring it down here, go ahead and settle, sell ourselves another island. Speaking of islands, I want to make sure they're not buying up anything. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's just see, yeah, he has bought a share up here. I spent a bunch of money looking for items too, so yeah, I'm at a little... A little shy on the money front. I did spend a bunch. Just checking to make sure they hadn't gone through and taken any of the islands. Oh, I, I meant to show you guys this. I don't know if... I, is this working yet? It's not working just... Oh, no, it is. It is working now. Okay. This is a mod that kind of is like a, a, a Takarazuka uh, exclusive at the moment. Uh, to Ben and Griff, who is one of the mod authors for Spice It Up kindly 
pulled this a section of the New Horizons mod that they are working on out and has it posted in the general chat channel of my Discord server. What this little mod does that he ripped out of the Horizons package is it makes each of the three tribes, uh, they trade goods. Now, Angarab, I don't believe you can trade with. No, you can only trade it with Angarab if you like are peaceful with them. Get back over there. If you like, you have to do their quest and like get peaceful with them. But until then, you can still trade with Caduce and Atoni. They sell paper, spiced flour, and linen. And they want lanterns, illuminated script, and tapestries. Okay. And then you can also trade with uh, Wahadesher. They sell lots of agricultural goods. And then they buy. Uh, dried meat and finery. So pretty cool little thing right there that he did. I uh, honestly, I I think when this uh, DLC first came out, I I kind of bemoaned the fact that these were like trading posts. You can click on them, but you couldn't. They they had no interaction with the player. You know, you you did their little quests, and that was that was it. It was so boring. I really felt like this region needed more interaction. So being able to trade with the AI and have some trading partners is really, really cool. I believe he also Welcome. balanced out a little bit of this. Yeah, see, he only sells linen, hibiscus, and wanza timber now instead of sanga and everything else. So they kind of moved it around. I thought that was really, really cool that he that they did that. I thought this was really cool. And like I said, Dabinagriff was kind enough to rip that part of the Horizons out for us and has it posted to our Discord server. So if you, uh, it, and it is works in save games, you can add it into your save game and you can go about trading with some of the uh, the people over in Mbessa, which I think should have been there from the beginning. And I think it's kind of dumb that it wasn't that way. Just my thoughts. Right. Come down here. We're going to get ourselves a little colony set up. Little, this could be a little farming community down here, I believe. Where's my oil at? My oil is right there. That is perfect. There's a bunch right here too. So, oh, this is also the island with like perfect gold deposits. Like, there's five gold ore deposits all right brightness. on top of each other, and there's two more down here. This is like primo uh, settlement location right here. I'm so glad I have this island. Just say the word. Drop all this off. Come on, you. Slow things down a touch here. I can send you home. You're done. All right, let's get ourselves some. We're gonna we're gonna play around with some of our small markets because this is going to be just a dirty little in agricultural town. Nothing nice and fancy about it. You know, the harbor is like the nicest part of this town and that's going to be about it. Uh, and we do have bananas here too. That's even even better that we have bananas on this island. What can I going to put a little banana farm up in here. I want to put put that right there actually. We'll come up here and grab like one of those so there's like a warehouse a tiny little warehouse right here see this is why i love mods i can make really fun little fun little things like this okay now we are going to have to ship the tobacco back and forth, of course, and I can and I can also buy tobacco from her. That's another good option: is purchasing tobacco to help supplement. Ship constructed. All right, there's our cargo ship. We'll be utilizing that here soon. All right, I need lots of abreros. Um, probably going to do it right here. I think on this island. I guess I could just 
guess I could just do it down here. Didn't, just localize it, yeah. Okay, yeah, we're just going to localize it. So let's just have our dirty little port area here. Let's blueprint some stuff. I don't need to blueprint that. This can just get built normal. So one of the... So two of these to one of those? Oh, I forgot. Forgot how bad that was. Two marquetry workshops for every one cigar factory. Oh, that's right. The cigar factories are massive. Well, that's fine. But I can only, I only need one of these guys, so that kind of helps offset that a little bit. And we're going to put you here and add in a small little warehouse next to it. Okay. Gather more people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will. I'll be working on that here very soon. Just, just hold your tiny little horses, buddy. Okay. To fit in with our tiny little town, we'll have a tiny little fire station and a tiny little police station. I love the tiny stuff. Couldn't tell all already. And the chapel. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, I'm gonna move him up one. Okay. Maybe I won't put that there. Put it there. And we haven't used the tree planter in a while. I really want to use the tree planter. Make some nice big trees right there. Okay. I'm gonna slap down another little warehouse right there, Your and then return from its voyage. maybe we'll add in some little odds and ends around here by the port. Also, don't need to forget. I definitely do want my own timber production out here. Workforce shortage. Yeah, you're fine. I promise you'll be all right. All right, my own little timber production going out here, so that helps that. All right, let's get alpacas going. I want to put you right here. All right, how are we looking? Looking good, looking good. I can't make rum locally, so that's unfortunate, but you know what? It's, it's not a big deal. I'll deal with that. A bold new expedition. Yeah, it's fine. I don't care. I'm not doing it. Your ship has returned okay, from its voyage. Now I'm going to go ahead and slot this in, but I am going to. Um, I can select it. Oh, come on. I'm going to put it to sleep. To learn the nuances. Stop production. And there. Now we have a nice little harbor front area that has Animation. everything we need. There's all of these goods. Fleet ready. Uh, you can stay here. You go back to the old world. You come Stay's down left. here. All right, now we just got to wait for this right here to fill up. We'll be good to go. Question is, is this going to be enough cigars? 
Yes, more than enough cigars for right now. Good. Wait, did I select the right place? Oh god, did I did I select the right place? Yeah. There it is. Okay. Now just smoke. Yeah, it's gonna be plenty of cigars. Good and ready. You can drop all of that off. Workforce shortage. You head back to the old world. Jump up here, Hi, grab I'm our in. cargo ship. Have him load up some more steel and might be all I need. Just a bit more steel. Yeah. No, I'm not having pickups. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring some weapons down to the new world. So you head to Kuratal. All right, we ready to do some upgrades? Yes, we are. Goody, goody, goody. There we go. All right, now we have everything we need except for the uh, tabacky. Just say the word. Yes, I called it tabacky. Well, we are going to need quite a few more um, obreros too, so get all of this going. Let's see how many we're going to need. Where am I going to fit the most in? This is a really terrible layout location right there, actually. Ooh, this one's nice. This right here looks like it's the best spot. Right there it is. Okay. And I do want a little oil harbor right there. Share and share alike, I say. Okay. Bring this down to here. This to there. Oh, God, I screwed that up. Okay. It. Might we need preach. No, nope, of course. Alright, fine. It's just going to have to be off. I'm just going to have to deal with it. Whatever. Need more bricks. Bring this ship right here on up here. Looks like I need a pier up here as well. Good and ready. All right, let's get some bricks down here then. And I was going to do our farmland over here, but I guess we'll do the farmland over here instead. Play around with our docks right here while we wait for goods to be brought in. Try to make this look, you know, like something. Your ship has returned from Just its voyage. A little choppy on occasion. I don't know why. Uh, who was that that just got in? Must have been somebody in the new, in the uh, old world. It's fine. Okay. Did you build? Uh, oh, I'm out of steel. Oh, did I load up steel on that ship? I think Workforce I did. Short. We'll just have to wait for steel to get here. It's fine. Perfectly fine. So I do need quite a few more. These guys too. That's fine. Do it this way. Your ship has returned from its voyage. There he is. Yeah, I did bring a little bit of steel down, so that should be enough steel to finish it off. Alright, let's 
let these guys right here get upgraded or you know full of people uh i can't fit that in right there unfortunately that'd be a great spot for it but alas no can do Although, I could do this. Come on, get some more timber. Cargo stations. Drops off some weapons there. Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, now I need timber. <laughs> Ah, uh, now I need timber. Okay, that's fine. I'll get some more here shortly. Let's just bring you back up, too. I guess we'll load up a bunch of timber. On our way. Okay. The more the merrier. Yeah, I'm going to drop off weapons so I can build, like, some cannon towers and stuff like that. And just kind of, you know, not that I'm going to need it, but just in case I need to fortify myself. Did you, like, send those over? No, you didn't. Okay. Alright, let's drop off a few up here. Uh, more timber, please. Yes, I know there's a workforce shortage. I'm working on the workforce shortage. Hashtag working on it. Leave me alone. I'm trying. I'm trying here. I'm trying my hardest. There it is. All right, let's drop all that off. You can park yourself over here then, for the time being. Guess you could do that. And I honestly prefer, like, these types of trees to the, um, I, I don't like the, like, the palm tree, the temperate forest alternative, whatever it's called. What is this thing called? Yeah, like the palm trees and, oh god, where is it? Is it right here? Yeah, it's right here. Yeah, the tropical forest. I don't like the tropical forest thing. I think, I, it just doesn't look right. I like these type, I like the big natural trees. They just look better. Okay, now I have too much timber. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. I was wondering if that's what that was going to be about. So that's fine. We have other market stalls that I can plop down here. I just love these little market stalls. They just look so good. Oh, my cat just jumped up in my lap. They just look so much better. Like, I don't know. They just fit so nicely. I love them. I love them. Although that right there, instead of trees, I wonder if we did... Your Some people fences. are starting to get sick. Uh-oh. Where? Over here, of That's course. For um... Just say the word. I'll fix it in a second. Actually, I can fix it right now. Bring this down. I'll build a little one of my little hospitals. Uh, anyways, let's just completely ignore that which is going on, and let's uh, let's see if we can't find something to decorate with here. Workforce shortage. Maybe just doing a little hedge, actually. Yeah, just a little hedge. And no, I'm not going to do brick roads down here right now. Y'all just deal with it. Sorry about it. Sorry if it bothers you that I don't do brick roads. I just don't usually. So. You know what? Actually, that's just too fancy for, like, this work town. It's just too fancy, guys. I can't do it. It's too fancy. Um, what else do we have? We do have some of these roads. A competitor's island is under siege. Oh, those are way too fancy. We have these gravel streets. Those gravel roads actually look kind of cool. Um, I wonder. Let's take a look at some. Oh, those look... I like that. Ooh, that looks good, actually. 
Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Look how much cool, nicer that, cleaner that looks. Oh my god. That looks really cool. It like fits in perfect. Okay, yeah, I'll be replacing all of these dirt roads with gravel roads throughout the entire new world because that just, that just looks really nice. I like that. Hmm. Okay, anyways, uh, on to this. Oh, what about a, oh yeah, fence maybe. The people celebrate your leadership. Oh, but it, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't look right. I could have swore that, he, that they had like some new worldy looking fences or something, but maybe I'm mistaken. But we do have like flowers and stuff like that, that I can randomly toss in here. I don't know what I want to do back here, guys. I can't make up my mind. Like, I have all these ideas in my head of what I, what it could look like. But I'm like, I don't know what I want it to do exactly on that back edge. This is like New World stuff right here, I think. Yeah, this is like a mix of New Worldy stuff. But the flowers just seem too nice. You know what I mean? Flowers are just too nice. Watch my Ornolero stuff. Fences. Edges. Paths. I'll just do a wall. Just a little low wall. Kind of separate everything out. A competitor's island withstood an attack. I don't know. I have to think about what I'm going to do right there. I may. I may change some of that up. Uh, right. I need to. I need to fix this problem. But here screwing around with all that and my people are dying. Okay, so I need one more one more somewhere. I'm going to take that one out. Put him in right there. Let's check this. Alright, let's get that in there. And then I've also been using the uh, consumption reduction. So, all right. So there's our new, our new like little medical hospitals. Yes, it's a worker house, but I just think it looks so much better than having a giant hospital. It just, it just fits better to me, you know. All right, we'll let them go around and hear all of the ills. Your people. There we go. Good deal. Again. All right, perfect. Just double check our consumptions. Everything is fabulous. Need to upgrade a couple more worse. homes. Of course, these have no people living in them. There we go. Now we have enough workers for everything, and we have everything that we need to finish upgrading the rest of those. Of course, so we have lots of us. oil now, so that's good. Now, tobacco time. Finally. Finally, tobacco time. All right. Um, Seductive charge. No. Very. So this is every 30 seconds. This is every two minutes. So it is like four of these. Is that all right? Four. I don't know. I, I forgot already. Let's just uh, let's just place Hola. them and see what happens. Let's just get one in, and that will kind of tell me, you know, what it's gonna look like. My God, these things take a lot of fields. Your people are rioting. Don't riot. What a jolly, jolly surprise. Fine. Fine, be that way. I'll toss in a police station for you guys. There. Alright, we have oil. We have all of that. How are we looking now? Actually, that's not bad at all. So, yeah, two of these. So, it would be four, roughly. 
uh, roughly four tobacco plantations. So, since we have oil and fuel, it's only um, two. We only need two of them. This is why, you know, people always ask, it's like a very common question, you know, what's, what's some of the best DLCs to get? And I always tell people every time, get the, um, sorry, I'm trying to also focus on making sure I get everything built. I'll always get Bright Harvest. You know, that's, I tell people that all the time, you know, if you get nothing, if you get nothing else, get Bright Harvest. It is such a good DLC. All right, so that should be producing plenty of cigars for us. Yeah, we are good on cigars for quite a while. Boat at the ready. Some find it. Uh, to serve. Oh, Yush. is that you? Where's he wanting this at? Up here. It's on your head. Oh, this is like a special one. Your streets are Fire Club, huh? So Alonso Graves, a former soldier in the Imperial Army, has asked you to collect a secret weapon from him, which he plans to use on his former masters. He hopes it will serve to remind the Queen and her followers that they must live within the consequences of their wars overseas. Well, apparently the ships got blown up in their harbor, so I just have to go and collect the goodies. The Hellfire Club. It's kind of a fun name. Get, get in there. There you go. Oh, oh it gave me some flamethrowers. I see. Okay, so let's just grab all of our lovely uh, ships here. Moving to coordinates. Come on up here. Oh, these two gunboats. I'm a... I'll keep them with the, I'll keep them with the fleet. Come on up here. I guess we'll do this, and then we will uh, end the episode after we take out these little ships. But let's just get this uh, route going right here. So we're gonna go from here. We're gonna go to Old World. I want you to go to Le Cro, <laughs> and then uh, pick up cigars. You're just going to be a cigar route, so it doesn't really matter. Good deal. Cigars on the move. We will run out of cigars probably before he gets back, but by the time he gets back, he'll be able to load up quite a bit of cigars, so I'm not really worried about it. A bold new expedition. And for funsies, let's toss... Uh... It activates for 20 seconds on a 45 second cooldown. Well, let's go up here and go, go blow some people up. Let's have some fun, shall we? Fleet, prepare to fire. All we're asking for is protection. Scoops us out of the gutter, you did. I'll lose those two uh, gunboats. I don't really care. Ship under attack. Okay, I guess I didn't lose them anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, where are you at? Flagship. I'm gonna have you pick up the goodies that got left over. On our way. And bring those down to Alonso. You head up there. You head up there. You head over here with those. That's gonna give us like. Oh, wow. That drops. So propaganda. I figured out why my reputation with him is dropping constantly. It's because of propaganda. I forgot. You do lose like four, pro four reputation every time you use propaganda with him. And that's why it keeps going up and down. I would probably be like allies with him. But hopefully doing these quests for him will help push me into like at least non-aggression pact or non-aggression territory, so I can try to get alliance with him at some point. Not alliance, but, you know, trade rights. Um, then I can be friends with everybody. Friendly, friendly Taka. Super friendly Taka. Taka loves all people. Unless they tell me that I have, that I forgot to build brick roads in the new world. In that case, you're not my friend. Just, uh, putting that out there. Alright, there's some rum. 
Yeah, we ran out of both of those. They are super unhappy. This is something we're going to be dealing with soon, is we're going to get rid of our pollution on this island. Because, yeah, it's Don't rough. tell me you'll follow. You're still excrement. Um... It's an okay service. item. We're not going to be going to war, really. I'll hold on to it for right now, but I really don't see me utilizing that item that much. Sales. So, that should have gotten me back up to 56. Oh, getting so close. His military score is... I'm, our, we're catching up on economy, but his military score is out the roof. And it's honestly mostly because he has a lot of cannon towers. If you look around at his at his like actual fleet, he doesn't seem to have much of a fleet anywhere. Um, he has nothing down here hardly, just a couple of ships, handful of a when handful of home, frigates and I'm stuff. It's literally look, all please. of these cannon towers is why he has such a high military score because he doesn't have much of a fleet. But it's also something that I can deal with. Ooh, another quest from him. Make fresh roses on your head, be it. Okay, so now what is this one? After the Great Purge, Alonzo asks you to bring him some wood to help him light a church bonfire. He believes bathing in its light will help cleanse any feelings of ill will amongst his people, and to realize this difficult act was all for the greater good. All right, so I need fish oil and wood. Well, we will be working on that in the next episode, guys. Thank you so, so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment. Be sure to hit that bell notification icon so you know whenever I upload an episode. If you uh, want to check out some of the mods I was talking about earlier, uh, th that Invest in Trader mod, or you just want to hang out with me, check out the Discord server. All those links are down in the description. And with that, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next time. Take care. Thank you.